Hello, welcome back to Here We Tow. It's Tin to Tum Tuesday yet again. It's quickly approaching every week, but it's the same time, same place. If you're into all the outdoor cooking, then please follow us here and I'll go through everything that I'm looking at as what I eat on a daily basis. So today, what have we got? We've got a roast chicken. We're gonna do a roast chicken on the cob. All it's gonna consist of is simply the chicken. We've got butter, garlic, coleslaw, cobs, onion, a bit of salt and pepper. So obviously the coleslaw and the cobs will come to those later because that's going to be part of the side dish that we're going to do. So join us if you want to see a roasted chicken with a bit of a garlicky buttery twist after this. So to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly make the rub that I'm going to use on the chicken. This is the way that I do it. What I've got here is I've got the cob with the chicken roasting rack already lit. Coals are getting to a nice grey so the heat's nice and consistent. So that's all going on in the background. So all I'm going to do is make this rub and uh, show you exactly what I do. So what you'll need for the rub for this, however, it can be adapted however you want to do it. This is just what I've got today. I'm going to go with a garlic and onion rub that goes under the skin of the chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chicken out. I'm going to separate between the skin and the meat. So I'm going to go all the way through the breast, through to the thighs, down the legs, drumsticks, and rub the butter mix in there. So when it's cooking, even though it's sat upright, it's going to be nicely basted inside. So it'll be a really moist roast chicken. So that's what I'm doing today with this. So let's get started. First of all, again, what I need here is I need a really finely chopped onion to go because that's going to be part of the rub as well. So I'm going to get a trusty bowl to stick everything in. I've got my butter here, which has been out of the fridge. So that's starting to get to a, a bit of a warm so I can rub it together. I've got my lazy garlic. Let's sort out the onion. To be fair, you don't need a whole onion. I'll probably only use this half to go in. We'll just see how much we've got before we uh, use it on the chicken. And to be fair, that should be just about enough, really. Don't need to go over with the, uh, with the onion just to give that bit of moisture from under the skin. It'll combine with the butter and the garlic and give it a really nice taste. So next thing what I'm going to have in here, because this is going to be my mixing bowl for the uh, for the stuffing if you like, or the rub. Bit of salt, bit of pepper, just for that bit of extra seasoning and the flavour that you need. So normally I would crush garlic, chop it and sort it myself but since I've still got some of this left over from last time, I'm going to go for a heaped teaspoon of lazy garlic and just get some of the juice. Because that will work really well. Now even though I've been uh, letting this butter soften for a little while, it totally depends on the size of bird that you've gone for. I've gone for a medium bird here and all you need is enough to be able to rub under the skin so that it will baste itself and keep itself nice and moist. So for a medium bird, what's that? I've gone for probably just under an inch wedge. So best way to deal with that is to chop it again and mix it all together. So that's that into cubes and hopefully that will make it melt that little bit quicker and easier when you rub all this together and then there's no better mixing solution than getting your hands in so what I'm gonna do have a little bit of a tidy up there get this mixed together and then we can start separating the bird in the skin 
and there we go it's all mixed together all I need to do now is try and get as much as this off my fingers and back in as possible for rubbing onto the chicken so what I'm going to do is I am going to take off the elastic just for now off the legs and off the top because I need to be able to get through to all this meat the plan is is to get underneath to go in the neck to get underneath the skin all the way through to this meat loosen the meat from the skin on on the drumsticks as well and then to push the butter so it's underneath the skin so it's held nice and tight against the meat so when it goes onto the cob it'll just baste itself while it's cooking so this is how I do it go like I say go in through the neck then just feel your way through it can take a little bit of time can this because you do have to be a little bit gentle separating the skin from the meat and as you can see here when you get to the drumstick just help yourself by pushing the drumstick up a little bit making that little pocket to get all that lovely butter and rub that you've made so there we have it the bird is now ready to receive and what you need to do is just little bits at a time so I'm just going to go face up pushing it into the skin and I'm going to start off by going all the way down to the thigh and then what I do is just with what I've got on my hands left over I just use this to rub and even out some of this mixture just over the breast through the legs you can manipulate it a bit further down the bird to the points where you want it to be plus what you're doing is because you've got the butter and the mixture on your hand as well you're just getting a little bit on the outside of the skin that'll crisp it up nicely whilst it's cooking and then all I do is I put the elastic back on just to hold the legs in a nice position as it's sat on the cob so there is one prepared chicken ready for roasting so again I'm going to shoot off get my hands cleaned up and get it on the cob so there we have it that is the chicken prepared now ready for the cob and it's a simple matter of cooking it so all I've done got this nice and smoky hot and ready with the with the chicken stand in there already that can go on about an hour an hour and a half give it a check see how it's doing and it's all good then we'll come back to the coleslaw and the cobs so let's get this put on let the cob see the bird and there we have it cooking times vary and after a little bit of editing this should be done catch you in a bit so whilst the chicken is cooking in the cob I'm just going to prepare these for later on that's going to take quite a little bit of time these only take 20 minutes half an hour but I'm going to get them prepared ahead of time so what I'm going to do is for one sheet of foil I'm just going to put two of these corn on the cobs in so it's as simple as that two knobs of butter so if you like simple and easy recipes it's about as simple as easy as it gets And 
they can sit there until they're ready to be thrown on last 20 minutes half an hour so come back and join us then so we're about halfway through now maybe we're about an hour in an hour and 10 minutes in so i'm just gonna have a quick check see exactly how we're getting on i haven't got a thermometer unfortunately that would be the better way to go but all i'm going to do is go into the thickest part of the thigh and see if the juices are starting to run clear see how long and how well we're doing with the cook so let's have a look and see how it's doing starting to get a bit of colour Oof. looking good looking good how does it look from your side So looking at that, I think that just needs another half an hour now. So perfect timing. What I'll do is I'll whack these cobs on with them as well. And then we'll come back in 20 minutes, half an hour when these are done and the chicken's finished off nicely. So back on for another 20 minutes. Let's come back to it. So we're at the end of the cook now. That's had about an hour and a half. When I checked it before, the juices were running clear anyway. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna, for the last 10, 15 minutes that the cobs are gonna stay on, I'm just gonna take the meat off. I would normally wrap it all up and leave it to rest itself, but just for ease and to show you exactly what we've got, I'm gonna carve the legs off wrap those up and then keep the actual carcass itself ready for when we eat in a little bit. So, should we have a look and see how we're getting on? That's where we're at. That's where we're at. So, let's get the bird off. Let's do this without burning myself. If I can. quickly going to just put the lid back on to try and get that back up to temperature again because obviously every time you take the lid off it's going to lose a little bit so just a final check a little bit of little bit of burnt bits there but going to get that sometimes so let's have a quick look cut into here final check as to how the meat's actually doing and it's extremely warm as you'd probably imagine wow There's two of the legs. And just give you a quick look at the inside. The meat itself. I'm properly gonna burn myself here. I'll tell you what, let's get these wrapped up first. Get those resting. Ready to be served up shortly. How can I best give you a look? Let's have a look. What I might do is just take a little slither off here. Just show you just how moist that is in there. So, there's the chicken. And again, just going to wrap that up so there you go that's how easy it is to cook a roast chicken on a cob hope you enjoyed that i'm going to come back to the corn very shortly 
we'll give it a taste test. Let's have a look, see finally how our cubs have done. That's warm. That is very warm. And again, a little bit of butter. A little bit more on. So there's a warm. Just that little bit more. As the finishing off. And there we have it. So we have finishing off, as I said, chicken cooked on the cob with a little bit of garlic, salt, pepper, butter throughout under the skin, coleslaw and corn on the cob. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. And as always, Bit of a taste test. That's good. Awesome. So I'm going to go and have my tea. See you next time.